All right, uh, you guys are about to see me make a complete idiot of myself. Uh, I'm trying to learn how to be Indian or from India. From <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna try and sing or dance to this song. It's called Malari or Malari. Yeah, and it's about them overcoming their enemies. Uh, I love India, and Jesus has blessed them greatly. So, I uh, hope you guys can get some good laughs, and hope we can do this together someday. All right, here we go. Maybe uh, my dog Gabriel will dance with this. Yeah, come on, buddy. Yeah. Bajne ne dhadak dhadak dhol taash dhadak dhadak bandara jidag jidag malari dhadak dhadak bhadak sali chatak matak bhatak sali dushman ki dekho jo fat lauli. Okay, I uh, hope you guys had a good laugh, but uh, I'm going to go over that video, the music video. I'm going to shrink here a second. And let me mute the desktop audio. I'm going to play it here. I guess you might hear it through my mic. <laughs> but yeah, I love the all of this this is glorious i love india 
And uh, it would be great if you guys could dress up like this. I could dress up in American like uh, garb and you guys could dress up in India garb. And we could dance and sing together like this. And uh, let's go on. Let's look, I love the sword guys back here. It would be cool if we could get plastic swords and everything and just go to town. Or maybe when you guys get married, we could do something like this. But they made a Trump one like this, and it was really good, too. <laughs> and you guys got to you guys gotta grow out your stash, man. You know? But maybe we could do this next January 6th for the celebration uh, for the Boston Tea Party Day or the Face Paint Day. And, uh, yeah. Have a lot of fun. But uh, I wanted to say a blessing to all you guys because I love you so much. Uh, and apologize because maybe I've been a little ignorant of India people. And I don't know much about Hinduism, so please forgive me. But imagine that the Hindus actually had a priest or a prophet. And I believe there's some truth to that. But there has been a greater prophet. And his name is Jesus. And in Christianity, you see minor prophets. They're not all perfect. In the same way you guys have. And you guys have been warring against the Muslims for many years. And God has given you victory. And in this video here, this video, I see Jesus written all over it. And it's about conquering and smashing the enemy. This is what Jesus came to do for you also. And I'm going to actually uh, talk about some of my friends in aerospace engineering. These people are admirable beyond measure to me. They're exceedingly humble, the ones I know. And exceedingly meek and to some people they look weak but their weakness is very strong and I'm amazed by them and when I was in college I think my class had more India people than any of the others that I know of or I mean I could be wrong about that but I got held back a year and I had to go in another year because I went to work. And I think we had more people from India than ours. Or their first or second generation from India. But sometimes I regret working with NASA because I treasure my time with these people more than working at NASA. Like these people are more valuable to me than what I did at NASA. That's how special these people are uh, to me. And uh, I guess the first person I would like to make an honorable mention is uh, Chan, Mr. Chan Man. Um, yeah, all these India people could walk circles around me, I guess you could say, but he is merciful. And he has like, he's more conservative, but I mean that in a glorious way, in a good, very good way. And India's family is very special in God's eyes and Chan I am just so thankful for you in my life I wouldn't be half the man I was if it wasn't for you or any of the people from India and uh, so to me how could I explain this He's like, I see Jesus in him. I don't know how to explain it. He's like the Lion of Judah in his own special way. Um, there's a saying, he who lends to the Lord, or he who lends to the poor, lends to the Lord or God, and God will pay him back for all his kindness to me and all of us poor people and wisdom and knowledge. And uh, me and him were learning from each other while we were in college. And to me, he's been like, he's been like a lion in wolf's clothing. 
like there's a lot of wolves in college and all the the wolves think that he's on their team but one day like when he at that right moment i believe that he's going to take off the wool or the wolf clothing expose the lion he is the lion of judah that's in him like and just destroy all the wolves and um yeah so that's the first guy i love the first brother and i guess the next one Haley. Haley, when I first met her, she has like this aura of family. I could sense this. Um, she's kind of conservative like Chan. She has like this very like motherly instinct, I felt. And she cares about family a lot that's how i when i first met her that's what i could feel about her and she's very special and she's really smart and she's nice and she has like a very big smile like that goes from ear to ear and she just glows and she would help other students when she learned stuff and everybody was competing to get some of her time because she could bless you with so much insight and everything but uh yeah and i hope she's doing well wherever she's at and that jesus will bless you and i hope that all the india people can get to know jesus through me and uh yeah i also like to think of uh, i think his name is oh yeah uh, Parth. I'm, I'm starting to forget people's names, but I remember their faces. Uh, I guess I'll have to move on to somebody else. Bonnie Alou. Alou, Alou, Alou. This guy is a character. He's so funny and he acts so stupid. He, he, he could ask the stupidest question ever and not feel ashamed about it. This is what I love about Bonnie. And he was my partner and he just took away all the stress I had during school. We didn't get much done sometimes, but sometimes the stress will kill your ability to do anything. And he would just kill all my stress and remind me of what's really important about life. And that is friendship. And I wouldn't take that away for anything. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of India people in my class and I want you to remember, I wanted to give you back the true India, like don't lose your India culture. I hope you guys can share this with your family because I love India and I don't want you guys to lose that when you come here to America, please keep that here. Bring it here to America, and I pray that you all can reign here. If you've guys seen, let me bring up the Statue of Liberty real quick. Statue of Liberty. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> All right. Let me show you my screen again. Ooh, I'm not the best with this stuff. But if you can see my pointer here, I believe that India, you see these points on her crown? India is like this beautiful red jewel of America. She is uh, a crown jewel of Lady Liberty. And I pray that people will know her because uh, India has freed me and 
I pray that I can pr uh, free all you guys in India here in America and that you will reign here and conquer our enemies. Because America has been defiled by many immoral people and we need you here. I had all these wonderful things I wanted to say to you guys, but sometimes once I start talking about them, I should have wrote them down. So maybe uh, one day I'll see you in person and remember to tell you all the things I wanted to tell you. <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope this video is an inspiration to some of you. Oh, Tiffany. Okay, now I forgot to mention Tiffany. Tiffany is like, simply sweet <laughs> Haley's like really smart and swift and these two women are different but like we can celebrate our differences and Tiffany knows like what it is to struggle and uh, me and her I feel like I'm like her because I struggled a lot through school and she has she also has this bright smile and she would work with all of us guys and help out in a lot of ways and um I remember Darsh, and I think there's a Parth. I, wow. I, it's been too long since I've seen you guys. So, and also there's this guy, India guy, that's a Christian. He, he's, his YouTube channel is called God Unlimited. And I hope you guys can, oh, Amy's entered the building. <laughs> that's my wife and uh, the charm thing goes off. But uh, love you guys and Godspeed.